What's going on, everybody? So as an OMSCS student finishing up my career now, possibly the most important website that I've used throughout my career is OMS Central. For anybody who doesn't know, OMS Central is a student-run website that allows OMSCS and OMSA students to write their own reviews on courses that they've taken in the OMSCS or OMSA program. It's a really great site, it's student-run, and it just helps you as an OMSCS student get a good idea of what's coming up in future classes that you might want to take or in classes that you're signed up for and you just want to make sure you're prepared for the workload. And like I said, for me, it's been possibly the most valuable site in my career. And as I went on today, I noticed that they changed some of the formatting um, as compared to what it was a few years ago. And I just wanted to take a look at it with all of you and kind of give my thoughts on the changes. Back in 2019, I did a review of the old OMSCS site, which you guys can see right here. Um, and that's on my channel and will be in the video description if you want to take a look. But at this point, I think it's a little outdated. So taking a look at the site, I'm going to minimize myself so I'm not in the way. But we can see it's got the same basic format, right? OMS CS courses and OMS A courses over here on the side and then kind of their rating system. So they reduced it down to rating, difficulty, workload, and number of reviews. Um, before it had a couple of more categories, which I actually really liked. It used to have a category that was uh, percentage of B and above and percentage of C and below. And I thought that was a really good way of getting an idea of how many students in the course um, get a B and above and how many students really have a hard time with it. Um, and it's kind of a combination of another site, which um, I have on my channel. I'll link that in the description below and, and put a picture of it here. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it lets you see the grade distribution of different OMSCS courses. And that's also a really valuable website. But taking a look back at this one, the, so it looks like they've changed the name from OMS CS to, or OMS Central to OMS Reviews, um, but their URL is still OMS Central and their top tag is still OMS Central, so that's interesting. Um, and like I said, it looks like the same basic format. You've got the classes over here on the side and then their rating system. Um, that's nice. Now you can switch it to different sizes. So if we want to look at 50 courses, and what other things and they just have pages and this is one thing that i really liked i took a look at this before is now they have this search bar which is really helpful if you're just looking for a particular class so let's say i wanted to do um cs6515 that's intro to graduate algorithms that's a class that um, just about every oms cs student has to take it's required for almost every single specialization. And I actually have a full review of this class if you're interested, which I'll put again a picture up for it and it'll be linked in the description because um, I just took this class and uh, I, I, it, was, it was a fairly difficult class. So taking a look at the, at the full um, rates on it. So it looks like it's got a 3.5 out of five, which is I think pretty fair. It's a, it's a good class, but it's not the most fun class I've taken. Um, average difficulty, four out of five. Yeah, it, it's fairly difficult. Uh, I would say, I wouldn't say it's the most difficult class. And I think a lot of it depends on who's running the class. Um, but this is fair and 20, 20 hours. Yeah, 20 hours a week is pretty good. Um, and it looks like, yeah, same kind of thing. Just these long, um, these long form descriptions and reviews of what the students thought of it. But what I always found helpful is you can do things like control F, exam and it'll tell you kind of the formatting of the exam here it describes the difficulty for me for exam two was greater than exam one so that's been really helpful in reviews so i'm glad that that's still there that they still have these long form reviews and another really cool feature that i found was uh, this filter feature which allows you to do things like restrict it to fundamental courses only which is really valuable for students who are just starting their career and need to complete their fundamentals um, and so now you just have a list of your fundamental courses. And of course, you can always say, you know, maybe your first course you want to be a little bit easier. So you just rank them by difficulty in reverse order. And then you can pick a class that might be a little bit easier. Or if you're just looking for one that's really, really difficult for whatever reason, or maybe maybe one that people really like. You can do it that way and it looks like game AI is number one. So anyway, I just wanted to show all of you what the new OMS Central site, OMS Reviews site looks like. 
uh, for any students who are now just starting the program or who still have a couple semesters left in the left in the program. Um, like I said, this is possibly the most valuable site I've had in my OMS CS career. So if you like this video, please leave a like. And if you have any questions, drop a comment in the comment section. And as always, subscribe.